Lesson 11, 2, the electromagnetic spectrum and energy. All right, what we have here is a diagram of the electromagnetic spectrum. You can see here on the low end, down here, this is radio waves, which includes AM, FM, microwaves are actually part of radio waves. Uh, they're used for communication in addition to feeding food. So for example, your cell phones, um, some of those frequencies used are microwaves. Um, they have the lowest frequencies and the longest wavelengths. And then above that is infrared, uh, which is put off by heat. And then we have this little tiny portion, that's visible light. And you can see that goes from red to violet. Red being the longest wavelength and the lowest frequency. Violet being the uh, shortest wavelength and highest frequency. And then above that is ultraviolet, then X-rays, and then gamma rays. Gamma rays have the shortest wavelength and highest frequency. For electromagnetic waves in a vacuum, the speed is 299,792,458 meters per second. Exactly. Now, the reason why that's exactly is we have an exact time for seconds, and the meter is based on the speed of light. So, this is exact. It's used to define the meter. As electromagnetic waves travel through other substances, like plastic, it will travel slower. For all waves, the speed equals the frequency times the wavelength. An electromagnetic wave has a frequency of 90.7 MHz. What is the wavelength of this wave, and what type of wave is it? Well, speed equals frequency times wavelength. Since we're talking about an EM wave, we have the speed of light. This would be our frequency. Get a color that we can see. Frequency, and uh, we already know C. So C is three times 10 to the eighth. Our frequency is 90.7 mega. Mega is times 10 to the six. Divide, and you get a wavelength of 3.31 meters. So then if we go back to that previous chart, 3.31 meters ends up being a radio wave in the FM area. A wave's energy is proportional to its amplitude squared. The wave's intensity is, so that's going to be your power divided by area is speed of light times epsilon zero times the electric field squared all over two or we can do it with magnetic field or we can combine them and have that use whichever one you have the numbers four. So look at your problem, see which numbers you're given. Are you given electric field, are you given the magnetic field, or are you given both? Um, the maximum intensity is two times the average. The average would be half of the maximum. And intensity is power divided by area. A certain microwave oven can produce 1500 watts of microwave radiation over an area that is 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters. What is the intensity in watts per meter squared? Well, intensity is power divided by area. So the power was 1500 watts, that was P there, and our area would be 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters, which is 0.3 meters by 0.3 meters. So our intensity is 1.67 times 10 to the fourth watts per meter squared. Part B, calculate the peak or maximum electric field strength in these waves. Well, 
since we're looking for electric field, let's use the formula that had electric field. All right, we had our intensity from the first part, so we fill that in for the I. Uh, we know that speed of light, C, is 3 times 10 to the 8. We know that E0 is 8.5 times 10 to the negative 12, because that's a constant. So then we just need to f solve for the electric field squared. So multiply by 2 and divide, and you get your electric field squared. Take a square root. And we get 3.55 times 10 to the third newtons per coulomb, or volts per meter, depending on how you want to, what units you want to use. All right, how about magnetic field? Well, we could go back and use the I average equals CB0 squared over 2 mu0, or we could just say, oh, E divided by B equals C. So I know E from part B, and I know the speed of light is 3 times 10 to the 8th. So multiply by B, and divide by the 3.0, and you get 1.18 times 10 to the negative 5th Tesla. There's a whole spectrum of problems today. Enjoy.